So a friend has um, requested that I share my birth story. So I thought I'd make a video that other people might benefit from too. At the time I did, um, soon after giving birth, I wrote a blog about how giving birth reminded me of my healing journey from chronic illness. So I'm going to kind of link the two and um, in terms of how giving birth can be quite an initiatory process, as can something like healing from a chronic illness or going through some really big challenge in life. So I'm going to speak firstly about my um, birth story and then also make parallels with my journey of healing chronic fatigue as well. So um, I knew I was potentially going to enter labour when I was out actually. I was out in Sheffield at an event, there were lots of people there and I suddenly felt like my energy was pulling me inwards. It was like go and find your cave, you know, you don't want to be around lots of people. Um, and so I sort of said to, to Paul that we need to go home. And um, and then, as I remember, very, very, very mild contractions perhaps started that night and then the next day, but it was really mild for 24 hours and I still went around retros. I was still finishing off work that day, wrapping up some work, that kind of thing. And then that evening they got intense um and then all night long as i remember i was awake all night so this was eight years ago now <laughs> i was awake all night long um and um and then all the next day the contractions got stronger and stronger um and so it took a long time i was in labor for a long time um and um yeah i was also put down at the pushing phase probably it started before it possibly had I'm not sure but if it was right it went on for a long time longer than they normally would NHS protocols would allow you to stay at home but thankfully the midwives didn't make me go to hospital but they did in the end sort of coach me to get um, Leo out as quickly as possible um, although at that point I didn't know I was having a boy um, and uh, I didn't know if I was having a boy or a girl so um, yeah in terms of the parallels for um, yeah, recovering from chronic illness, uh, there was many layers of emotion that I went through in that journey. You know, emotions about the pain, which was more than I expected, and I didn't use any painkillers whatsoever, or um, gas or air or anything. So there was definitely like, oh, this is really hard, like kind of like those kind of emotions to go through. Uh, my mum was going to be at the birth, and there was a moment where I was like, I'm not sure if I wanted to be here, I'm not sure if it'll work, and that brought up a layer of emotion, and it was fine in the end, my mum was there, it was fine. Um, and, um, yeah, there were other layers of emotions that I went through on that, on that, in that time, you know, maybe, yeah, fear about whether I was going to have a home birth or not, or end up in hospital, or fear about whether I could do it, all that sort of thing. Um, so the layers of emotion, and certainly when I was healing chronic illness, there were many, many, many layers of emotion to go through, many, many, lots of fear, lots of sadness and grief, um, contacting anger for the first time in my life and realising that actually was somehow connected to physical symptoms for me. Um, and, um, and then also it required a lot of commitment to, to stay with it. Um, and to stay with the birthing process, it required a lot of commitment to recover from chronic fatigue, to commit to all the self-care and resourcing and, and um, learning about healing mind-body connection, healing the nervous system, all this stuff, it required a lot of commitment. And likewise, to give birth at home and to have the birth that I wanted, it required a lot of commitment. It required a lot of work beforehand and preparation, drawing the pregnancy, and then also commitment to to stay with it even though it felt tough at times and even though I was hoping I was going to have a water birth but that didn't happen and to and to accept that as well so acceptance was also another big part to accept things as they arose um, and likewise with chronic illness to accept that it was a difficult journey at times and to accept the different layers of emotion and things I had to work through to um, get all the way there and also support um I don't think I could have given birth without being able to hang off Paul and without the midwives um, who were incredible um, and without my mum being there in the background and supporting me in the ways that she was supporting me as well and without the support that I had during the pregnancy as well. Um, and likewise, well, as I was healing chronic illness, I could, could not think I could have healed if it wasn't for other people around me that believed I could heal, that supported me, that saw me 
Um, they even offered me constructive feedback at times, which actually helped me overcome certain patterns, like being a chronic people pleaser and not having boundaries and that kind of thing. Um, all the kind of things that kind of uh, were part of what led to d dis ease in my body. So, um, what else? Um, but the final leap you had to make on your own. So in terms of for healing chronic illness, like the final step, I had to empower myself. You know, I used loads of therapists and healers and coaches and all these kind of people to help me and it, that really helped. But also like I would kept giving my power away. So ultimately I had to know that the power was within me to heal. And likewise with giving birth, I had to obviously push Leo out, you know, I had to make that final step and commit to it and to believe that I could do it, you know, to reclaim that power. And then the final thing I wanted to mention is that it's like a, you're reborn, you know, when you're a mother, when you become a mother for the first time, it's like you're reborn as a mother, like a massive part of you that you haven't known is now here, you know, the love for that baby is just so beautiful and intense and feeling, you know, like I was told, like when, when the baby's born, the mother's born as well, you know? And it's like, really, really experienced that. I felt really reborn really and initiated into a new experience in life. And likewise, at the end of a healing journey from chronic illness, um, I felt reborn into a new version of myself, you know, different kind of levels of awareness um, and energy and health and joy and, um, nervous system regulation and healing of trauma and it's kind of like a re it's like an awakening it's like being reborn um so there were some things i wanted to mention around my birth story and how it also related to my healing journey from chronic illness um thank you for listening and wishing you health joy and um easy birth if you're a pregnant woman and uh thank you bye